Okay, hi there, welcome uh, to a macro video. Real GDP, or real national output, is one of the key macroeconomic indicators for any economy, including the UK. So what is real GDP? Well, it's a measure of the volume of output produced by an economy over a period of time. And real GDP is the nominal or money value of national output, but adjusted for changes in the general price level, the GPL. And an increase in expansion of real GDP means that aggregate demand has risen faster than the rate of inflation, and therefore an economy is experiencing economic growth. So key word, of course, here is real. Real means that we adjust the money or the nominal value of output or income or spending to take account of the effects of inflation. And of course, rising prices uh, increase nominal values. Now, UK GDP, UK GDP measures the value of the goods and services produced within the economy. And of course, some of this output, indeed a, a substantial part of this production, is supplied by foreign-owned businesses. It could be a, a car plant such as Nissan in the northeast, or perhaps the output generated by an overseas retailer or health provider or gym uh, chain. So keep in mind that in a globalised world, the GDP of a country is often a result of factors of production owned by businesses across the world. Changes in the level and the rate of growth of real GDP are a key part of the cyclical nature of the economy. And uh, we see that when the economy slows down, when real GDP growth uh, weakens, or when it actually falls, in other words, in a recession, that can lead to a decline in employment and an increase in cyclical unemployment. Uh, a quick reminder about your analysis diagrams. This is quite important. Remember, please, to label real GDP or real national income on the x-axis of an aggregate demand and supply diagram. Don't just put quantity or output. Put real national output. So what does the path of real GDP look like for the UK? Well, this chart takes us from 2007 all the way through to the autumn of 2021. We see the recession in late 2008, 2009, brought about by the global financial crisis. Then a period of slow, steady recovery. Uh, the index, of course, is, is based to 2019. So the index reaches 100 by 2019. And then the collapse in output as the pandemic struck and then a rebound in GDP uh, as we head into 2020 and 2021. UK real GDP is estimated to have grown by 0.6% in September of 2021, but it still remains below its pre-coronavirus pandemic level, as this chart shows. And this data is a, a sort of summary of GDP growth, both actual and forecast, published by the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, on the left-hand side there, and also the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, the so-called OECD, and they also publish forecast data for these leading economies. Uh, I've highlighted here just the depth of the recession in the UK in 2020. Our national output in real terms fell by nearly 10%, and that's bigger than uh, other major economies. Germany, for example, less than half that. The United States, well, only a third of our fall in output. Uh, China continued to grow, although at much slower rates. The world economy in 2020 shrunk by just over 3%, but it's forecast to grow by nearly 6% in 2021. So economies are rebounding, and rebounding quite quickly. And of course, that's one of the factors behind the, the surge in cost push inflation. Of the G7 countries shown here, the UK remains in real GDP terms, and this is for November uh, 2021, it remains below the level reached before the coronavirus pandemic struck the world economy. So in some countries, such as the United States, output has now more than recovered, whereas in the UK and Canada and Japan, we remain below the output level in real terms we had in 20, the, at the end of 2019. So there we go. That was a quick revision primer on real GDP. Thanks for joining in.